I imagine it went something like this. President Trump revealed some classified information regarding ISIS that, according to the report in the Washington Post, wasn't exactly his to share. There was intelligence that had been developed by a U.S. partner. Uh, according to a quote from H.R. McMaster, the National Security Advisor, Dana Lund. On something that the White House is actually doing, Donald Trump comes out and undermines what they're saying. For example, Sean Spicer, when he said, this is not a Muslim ban, this is not a travel ban. And then the president tweets, he wants his travel ban, and he doesn't even like the watered-down one that Jeff Sessions, his attorney general, was proposing. Don't worry, you know. Here's your paper, Mr. Spicer. While the first family is away, the White House is completely empty, except for one lucky guy. <laughs> C-SPAN Pictures presents... Just take those old records off! He's the freaker of the house, and he's going for a joyride in Trump's private jet. Sometimes you just gotta say, what the... Breaking news, Donald Trump's private jet has landed in the Potomac. Now, he has to bring together a bunch of senators and a bunch of hookers for the biggest White House sex party ever. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer in Spicy Business. Coming to Russia, 2018. Hi, may I take your order? Yeah, I would like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, hey. Hold it right there, amigo. What is this? I just want a cup of coffee. Sorry, we hired these guys yesterday. Fucking bomb went off a little bit ago. How's Chris Falcon doing? You want to know how Chris Falcon is? You bet your ass I want to know how Chris <laughs> Falcon is. <laughs> Chris Falcon recently exposed aliens living amongst us. Fuck yes, he did. Chris Falcon had new neighbors move in, so he invited them over to his house. You know, have a barbecue by the pool, basically. Basic. Falcon's manning the grill. Yes, he does. And everything's going good. And then his wife brings out some snack-type foods. You know, munchies. Barbecue first course, as it were. Deviled eggs, fruit salad. I love fruit salad. An assortment of chips. And sour cream and onion, tortilla with some dip. And barbecue flavored potato chips. A staple. Only these neighbors, it's a couple, right? Just your normal, everyday, all-American family. The fucking cleavers. My wife picks up the bag of barbecue chips and says, Look, honey, barbecue flavored potato chips, as though the mere concept was blowing your mind. What the fuck? And the husband, his mind is equally blown. Neither of them legit had ever heard of the concept. Just your normal, everyday, all American family. Or so it seems. So Falcon immediately identifies the imposters as aliens. This is obviously the only answer that makes sense. Aliens trained to learn human culture the best they could to blend in, but missing out on a small detail like barbecue flavored potato chips. Falcon's response? Made an immediate citizen's arrest. Hog tied both aliens, called the FBI. And Took him away. Wow. Aliens. I'll tell you how Chris Falcon met his wife. Chris Falcon at one point in his life was worried he was balding. No. Indeed. As it turns out, he simply had a large forehead, large and distinguished. Distinguished. But he was concerned, so he ordered hair pills from an online Canadian pharmacy because they didn't want to have to deal with the bureaucracy of an American. Well, who the hell would? Thing is, online Canadian pharmacies assume that if you need hair pills, you need dick pills too, like to get a not falcon. No, 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 not falcon. Falcon strong like bull. Thank God. But they kept sending him the pills anyway. By the time he realized he didn't need hair pills, that he was indeed in possession of a large and distinguished forehead, he canceled the order. However, by that point, he'd been put on the dick pill list. Well, this. They'd call it all hours asking if he needed more dick pills. Harassment. So first, Falcon asked him nicely to stop. Then he started getting mad at them. Then he started pleading with them to stop calling. The 
those fuckers. And finally, he resorted to a new tactic. He started talking dirty to them. You know, these people call asking if he needs more dick pills. So he's like, yeah, sure, I could use more dick pills. Or maybe you could just tell me a little something about yourself, see if that works better. Falcon for the win. It's all good, because they're the ones calling him, so it's legal to say anything you want. Falcon for the huge win. Oh, get this. One woman, she calls him and asks if he needs more dick pills. Falcon starts in on this whole thing, you know, what are you wearing and whatnot. Thing is, she doesn't hang up. She's into it because of the power of the Falcon. Fuck. So she calls him back every chance she gets just to hear the Falcon talk. Finally, after about a month, she buys a ticket, flies out to see Falcon in person, and has never left. Legend. Hey man, got any money? In the bank. Man, you should ask Jeff, you guys shouldn't fuck with me. Man, stick. Ah!